Today we're testing 100 years of candy to see which is the best candy, starting with... Anise squares. So this candy is from the 1900s. This is rock hard. Since this candy is extremely hard, we're gonna see if a bowling ball can destroy it. Pretty good. Maybe a little harder. Oh yeah, it did, it yeah, did. It yeah, it broke it. Oh fuck, dude. Yo, it's kinda cool. That was so cool. Oh bro, look at the ball. Oh! Now we're going to the 1910s. We got the Vallo milk. What? This is before Reese's peanut butter cups. So this is the OG Reese cup? Mm-hmm. We're actually gonna taste test them compared to a Reese's cup. So first, which one do we think is the Vallo milk? And which one do we think is Reese's? I don't know, probably the one you said, the Vallo milk or the Reese's. <laughs> this one's the Vallo milk, <laughs> this one's the Reese's. Yo, take a bite of this. Way, bro. Is it's it good? good? Is it good? I like it. It's pretty good. Bro, it tastes like a s'more. Eat that. Yo, <laughs> yo, you know that's good. Bro, we need to go back to the 1910s. <laughs> like, we messing up. Pretty good. 1920s, we got the double bubble wubble. Everyone knows this. I mean, it's the bubble gun. It says on the stick, original 1928 flavor. You wanna try it one side? Oh, my. oh, that's nice. <laughs> So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see who can make the biggest double bubble ball. A little bit of a disclaimer. This is gonna be disgusting. <laughs> be careful, it's hard. You don't wanna choke on it. All right, I give up. I can't do it anymore. Moment of truth. Will my gumball stick on the wall? What? I'm gonna throw it at grandma. That's so disgusting. You see, you see my wet hand? I think I'm ready to go to the next year. That's all my spit. 1930s, we got Mentos. These things are great. And they're even better if you have a bottle of Coca-Cola. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it under the table and see if it will hit the top of the table. Oh man, that was lame. I thought that was gonna be so much cooler. I thought it was gonna shoot into the ceiling and get me soaking wet, but it just did that. And the 1940s snow cones were a thing. Now, is snow cones really a candy? We figured we would include it into the list because I love snow cones. We're gonna try to make the world's most epic snow cone. You yeah, just it? go ahead. All right, we gotta pack it down real nice. That's beautiful. <laughs> I need more eyes. Yo, try it. <laughs> what? Hold on, I think you need some raspberry. <laughs> you missed the grape. It just needs more ice. Mm. Oh yeah. Snow cones were a big part of our culture and they still exist today. Next up, we got a candy from 1950. It's called the Big Hunk. Huh. Yo! Who's this guy? Yo. I don't know. You either get me or this candy bar. What? <laughs> Give me, give me the, give me the candy! No, no, give me the candy! No. Give me the candy! Oh. Give me the candy! Oh. Fuck it! Oh. Oh. I got it. Wait, wait, so you're saying the big hunk is still over there? Yeah, he's still over oh. there. <laughs> give me that. Yeah. It's nutty flavor. Big hunk. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's what it looks like? It's got the same texture as a Laffy Taffy, but it's not. Bro, that was kind of sick. Wait, you think you can do it on my head? Oh my God! You're supposed to open it! <laughs> hey bro, you want a bite? <laughs> Get wrecked! And for 1970, we have one of my favorites. 
the pixie stick. Oh my god. There we go. And if you pour it out, it's literally just straight sugar. There's absolutely nothing healthy about this. Go for it. Get you a lick. Get you a dunk. <laughs> hey, can I get a fresh pour into your mouth? No, 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 no. It went straight no, my throat. Okay. okay, I do it. In the 1980s, they changed toothpicks to hot licks. These are cinnamon flavored toothpicks. This is considered a candy because it's sweet. Oh, it's got oh. a lot of flavor. Oh my God. Dude, that is strong. Yeah. If it can pop the balloon, this passes the test. Teeth? Hey! It worked. Want to just... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you good? It, it bounced back. <laughs> Which one was it? It was this one. Yeah? What, what do you gotta say? What do you gotta say about it, huh? Don't do it to him, Nathan. Don't do it. Well, they left me, so I'm gonna do this one by myself. In the 1990s, they came out with a candy called Baby Bottle Pop, where you just dip it into this powder. And it's very flavorful. Hey! <laughs> That's Emily's! This is candy. Give it to me. <laughs> it's okay, baby. You like stealing candy from babies? In 2010, we got Bean Boozled by Jelly Belly. Now, Jelly Bellies have been around for a long time, but Bean Boozled came out in 2010. A famous game where you spin, and whatever you land on, you have to eat. So I just landed on Toasted Marshmallow, but it could be a stink bug. Oh, I got the Toasted Marshmallow. Oh, that's good. All at the same time. Okay, so one of these might be a dead fish. Or they might all be dead fish. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that bad? <laughs> That's so bad. And now that brings us to our present day. But the question is, what's the best candy for today? We got Mr. Beast Feastables, and we got Unspeakable. Oh my gosh! Fruit Blocks. Is that Fruit Blocks? Yo, these are so good. Yeah, they are. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my, you hit me in the eye! All right, open your mouth. <laughs> Bro, you went sideways with it. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna be completely honest here. The Mr. Beast chocolate and peanut butter bar is one of my favorite candies. This is so good. <laughs> this is all I need in life. Hole? This is all I need. <laughs> now, when it comes to the unspeakable fruit blocks, these things, these things, you just can't compete with these bad boys. I mean, they're different, right? It's not chocolate, obviously. It's fruit snacks. But the best fruit snacks I've ever made. Go to every Walmart and get your fruit blocks before they sell out. There's no more fruit blocks. We're gonna go to Walmart. <laughs>